habang tumatagal, nagiging aware ako sa iba't ibang klase ng joineries like half lap, um, dovetail, mortis and tenon, dowel, floating tenons. Ikaw na lang talaga yung pipili kung ano ba talaga yung gagamitin mo. And I find it really pleasing to learn and use as my go-to joinery si floating tenons. Yan din yung reason kung bakit ako nag-decide gumawa ng sarili kong mortise or jig using a plunge router. And I'd like to thank Lotus for sending me one of their plunge router for specifically for specifically for this jig. So, thank you Lotus. Ang jig na ito ay inspired sa Mortis jig ni Philip Morley which has three main components. The base for the clamps na mag-hold ng piece for Mortis cut. Yung top with fence for the plunge router. Adjustable yung top niya. At stop blocks para sa repeatable cuts. And this jig also works in center marks. So, pag nakuha ko na yung center ng piece, set ko lang yung stop blocks, then I can start my mortise cuts. If you'll check some of my videos, you'll notice that I'm already using Lotus since day one. Kasi as a DIYer, naghahanap ako ng tools na number one, affordable, and at the same time, reliable naman. At so far, hindi pa naman ako binibigo ni Lotus. My circular saw is still working, my jigsaw, as well as my corded drill, they are all still working. And for sure, this plunge router will last long here in my shop. Yes, kung ayaw mo mahirapan, use nail, screw, glue, then butt it up. Okay naman yun, that will work. Pero, hindi kasi satisfying eh. Ako, para sa akin, gusto ko paghirapan ko ng konti. Kahit konti lang, konting effort lang. Daridaya ako siya ng konting effort. At, para sa akin, sobrang, sobrang satisfying yung makikita mo nila pagdikit mo yung dalawang kahoy. Like a Lego. Tapos, tutunog siya ng tik. Tapos, pagkapa mo, everything is flush. Dun. Satisfied na ako dun. Masaya na ako dun. Alright!